Hey folks, welcome back to Ostrov. I've got a few changes to talk about, including a new update to the game. First thing I see is this guy right here, delivery orders. Move sunflower oil 1000 and move 2470 bricks. So, update 5.5, or alpha 5.5 we'll call it. I think it's officially, oh it's right down there, 0 0.5.5. What is that last thing? A one? Looks like a point one. Yeah, there was a hotfix that came out. Anyway, we have got... I wanted to be here while I was talking because that pesky cart parking is finally unloaded. I ended up bribing them to, to haul it all the way. But that's being torn down now. Which means these are going to you know, are gonna sit there for another long while. You are still being torn down? You're still being torn down. So they jumped around apparently. Almost finished that one, but not quite. Let's get rid of the bench. And we're done now. Let's empty you. You left a fence. Ah, the fence went away. There we go. All right, make empty. Really make empty. Can I get the other one? Sometimes it's hard to grab that second. No. So you aren't. Yeah, I can't get the nails this time. Ah, ah I had it. There you are. Okay. Make you empty. And we're still working on this, apparently. Warehouse. Yeah, that's odd. Anyway, so we have got two new row houses that have, what was it called? A arcade. So what do you call the, uh, um, the front walk through? So, more of a downtown area look to it with a sidewalk. Kind of cool. Two-story and three-story version of that. And then we've got what? There was something added to here. It was a couple of fences. So, we got a new fence. Solid wooden fence. And then we've got a brick fence, I believe. That's over here. Yeah, brick and iron. Does it take... Well, it doesn't take anything. It's just an auto build. But you'd think eventually these would cost something. They should. You know, get bricks in and iron ingots to do it or something like that. What else is new? There was a new bridge. A stone bridge. I wonder if it'll... I don't think that clicked the right thing. Really? It's a fence post. Anyway, let's go over where it's narrow. And... Yeah, too low. Okay, then let's go where it's not too low. Right there. There we go. So we've got a stone bridge in the game now. And a lot of different little bug fixes here and there and things that are going to be working better. I guess the ash tree has been uh, worked through. There was a problem with them swapping ash back and forth and not getting anything done. So that problem has been fixed. And Oh, you can look up... Uh, the game and, and on Steam and see the uh, the changes to it. I'm trying to think if there's anything else obvious. I'll probably think of more as we go, but nothing else is coming to mind right now. We got that customs construction office. We got to build that someday. See how that works. Um, we did those. Ah, I know what the other big change was. Now you can press H, and this happens. So. Just have this left, otherwise the rest of the UI goes away. You can take nice, clean pictures and screenshots. H brings it back. Well, it did the last time I did it. There we go. Yeah, okay. And a lot of noise is going on. So we took down the other warehouse. Need to clean out all of these supplies. So make you empty. Grab another square in there. Make you empty. I think we got three... Stop emptying. Okay, there's a third one in here somewhere. Stop emptying. I don't know if I'm going to be able to grab that third one, but that that should be its own. Nope. So I'll have to get rid of at least one more of those in order to grab it. So you are... Stop making empty. Alright, you're all triggered. Okay, so I'm pretty sure what happened with this cart's not willing to, to leave the map or be moved over here. It had something to do with all of the uh, 
you know, the extra work I was giving them by forcing them to empty all this out so we can get a good size load of, there's 2,700 and 3,100, so lots of hay in there. Um, it was brought up, and I had never thought of this before, that it's the laborers from the hay barracks that will go and pick up the hay. So they're only getting a normal paycheck, so that's why they're not super interested. But if we boost these guys as well and apply to all, then maybe they will go and load the hay dryers a little bit sooner. Possibly. It was also brought up that when it's time to make hay, <laughs> if we maxed out the workers of the sheep farm and the cow sheds, they would go out and intentionally do it. Rather than waiting for laborers, I'd forgotten about that. They do go out there and and uh, put hay on the on the racks, though they're well, unless they're collecting it for themselves. I don't know if they're the ones that then take it off the racks, or is that here? Any laborers that show up? I never clicked on a hay barrack while it was time to unload the the uh, the racks to see if a face popped up over here that, you know, the hay barracks laborers are busy doing something. But we could go through the sheep farm for, let's see, keep you in there. Um, April through? Yeah, so let's make off-season two. Enable seasonal hiring. Off-season is two. And off-season is going to be the months when we're not collecting hay. Whereas on season is four. So something like this. So during these months, so before people working here, hopefully collecting hay if there's nothing else to do. And we'll do the same thing to the other ones. But you... That's right, I built one more. They were using this thing so heavily. I mean, it was just non-stop. Which told me that we probably need more carts up in here. So these carts are already being used. So what do we have in the way of parts right now? We got 85 parts and more on the way. So 100 parts. So let's go ahead and order four more carts here. So this cart shed is empty. The other cart shed is empty. I'm sure there's still more people that would like to have some carts available. So we'll have 12 carts up in this area. And there's some over here too. I don't know how much these get used. Now they're sitting there. They're not used as much. Which means they don't have to be repaired as often, too. So that's not a bad thing once they're built. Just the initial cost of getting them built. So waiting on those. We've done the update as much as I can remember. There is a brand new map. I think it took the place of map number three. There's a lake on it. And the limestone and stone and what have you are all unlimited. So you would be able to continue to run this guy nonstop and these guys nonstop. Maybe even have a couple of these these stone mining camps going. So there's a big lake in the middle, and one thing to be aware if you jump into that map, that lake is not connected to a river, so there's not going to be any trading on the lake. So don't start your whole town surrounding that lake and then get angry that there's no uh, there's no way to trade off of it. It's yeah you don't. You don't trade off of a lake, you trade off of a river. You gotta be able to get out to the out to the ocean. Um What are we doing this time? We're putting in a church. I know that. We're speeding up a little bit so that we can get to that point. We've gotta get all those building supplies moved out of there. Um How best to do the church we have a road here and we have a pretty significant road going on here so maybe we can just try to catch from that corner to this corner and stay I like the diagonal look I like it that you see it as you come around this corner here and the doors kind of aligned with your view so let's play with sitting that out there and I'm thinking something like this now, top down, if we touch that road over there, we're actually well within both roads still. I can go even a little bit further and be fine. So, let's see if I can zoom in here enough to... So, about like that. Yeah, I think so. Now, how do we interact with the 
old graveyard. So if you're like that, I can bring the graves up around the back of the church. Dercachi's here. Let's slow it down and I want to stare at this a little bit. So that right there, do we fence it? If we fence it, then we need to be a little bit narrower. So we can have a pathway within the fence alongside the road. I think we do. I think we mimic this fence over here with one right there. So that means we're in about like so, and that fence back there probably continues around. In that case, I'm wondering if it does just go straight with everything here. Zoom in there. Looks like we're about like so. And then it can be out to about like this, and then we have more room for a graveyard behind, a cemetery. That might be the wiser way to do it. And then what happens at the front? The school, we put a little fence around the front over there and some benches. Yeah, we could finish off all of the roads and make corners with the fencing that's around the church. And kind of form all the roads in this area with that. It, it's the main feature of the area. Okay, so depth-wise, where does it go? That looks pretty well centered with the old cemetery. The front's there. A little room in front, a little room in back. I think that's it right there. Okay. We are at 277. We've lost a couple and not gained any babies lately. So, church, we move you in. Yeah. About like that. Just kick you back a little bit. Give them time to start moving building materials in there. Dirkachi, let's go play with you guys. You're over here. We sell you charcoal. You want 8,000. Uh, we're going to empty the town if we use all eight. Well, we use... Okay, we'll leave 1,000 in town or thereabouts. Yeah, we'll do that. We're still making it quite fast. So, sell you the charcoal. And then what? Shoes are doing what? There's 879 in town. And what was being moved? It was, it was, oh, just bricks left. I'm emptying out the bricks that were still sitting over here. Moving shoes in there. Could not move sunflower oil, but we can move it into here, and we are. And flowers supposedly coming down here. I went ahead and hired up everybody in this granary so they can spend their time supplying resources. So going out there and grabbing things from all over town. Now I should have you ladies only doing it by cart. So no more labor by hand or worker by hand. So go grab a cart. I guess she was doing I was watching her there. Where are you? There. Yeah you went to go get a cart. So Go and grab a cartload of something to bring it over here. We got chicken meat over here, which we are calling for and is starting to spoil. But hopefully it hits, into, it hits a market here soon. Um, once this place goes in, we'll have another market too. So you are hard to find. You're not that one. You're this one? No. You are church, warehouse. Boy, I thought you were right in the front primary school. Oh, that's something that I did between episodes. I've been watching this one, and I haven't seen a kid in him yet. I think we're just too far away from the bulk of the town. So I decided to move this to over here, and it gave me something to... I, was, I mentioned last time, I wish I could think of something to put into, into this area to kind of shape this road better. I think the school right in the curve of the road would be better. So we're going to build the school. In fact, we can go ahead and just tear this one down. You're not... Not doing anything anyway, so demolish you, put you next, we get those building materials back. Get the clay pit in, that doesn't have to be immediate, we can get the church in first. A warehouse, what are you? I moved that other ashery over, it was centered on these three. The things that I do between episodes is I just kind of wander around and click on things and mumble to myself, things like, why did I do that? So... I'm going to put one more warehouse in here that does more of the the ash and lie and what have you. Maybe ramp this whole thing up a little bit. Has broken a hand. You are over here. It's these loggers, I tell you. I, now, where do you live? You are... Okay. So, middle row, second house. 
Let's keep an eye on Siri. I'm going to go with Siri and see if he makes a trip. He's got $99 in, in this household, so he can afford a trip to the barber surgery. But I've never actually seen it done. So I'll try to remember to go back to that. But I was wandering through here. Warehouse. So move a warehouse over or into that space. Get a fourth warehouse in this area. Um, the soap works is just not doing anything. In fact, I think we've got too many people working here because we just can't get enough supplies. So let's pull this back to two people. And I think we can probably afford... A, uh, an off season too I don't know if anything are they are these batches no they're not batches so I assume that whatever they're doing they'll just do it until they they max out so until we get more lie lie, lie and what is needed not enough tallow so we need to that's right so tallow is going to be the limiting factor we're only going to be able to make it so fast got no tallow over there and we've got no tallow. Well, we're out of tallow. Okay. So this is going to be a pretty limited thing. I see. Well, we can get the lie built up. I don't remember if that's something we can sell or not. But we'll get uh, this guy. I put two more people in here to get this operating a lot faster. Start filling up the warehouse with it. So we've got some, some product available or uh, ingredients available for when we get into making soap again so all right so you're going to be pretty limited to whenever the animals slaughter i don't remember ever seeing tallow in the market so let's take you those two months out those two months out and every other otherwise that kind of works so there's five months a year that we might have enough tallow to make soap all right we'll go with that for now until there's there's more activity tallow wise um dear kachi i never finished you 21 days left i'm running slow so i can i can fumble my way through okay purchasing tallow is not a thing here what can we buy from you leather metal parts and iron so where are we on those three things iron ghi there you are 300 so we could do another 500. Leather, 1400, we're fine. And metal parts, there you are, 56. We had 200 a while back. So let's go ahead and do some of those too. So iron, let's grab world map, iron. We've got room now. Let's do 1000. Where are we on money? 7600 okay so a thousand of you and metal parts oh let's just go hog wild let's buy them all we will eventually use them um pigs cows horses sallow we have 100 so let's get 300 more and i did in between episodes put sallow over there in the row houses so we've got that available Okay, meat or fish and potatoes. So you want to buy from us? We already did the shoes. We talked about it. We, I thought about it. Let's put it that way. So town storage of 700. We're definitely making them. We definitely have the leather and we have the people to do it. So let's do 600. In case someone stocks a, uh, a market stall between now and then. So deal and shoes... There you are, 600. Then what? Buckwheat we're keeping, but where are we at? We're at 4,000 again, good. Uh, charcoal you already bought, and you're willing to buy another 339, but let's wait in case there's more to sell. Chicken eggs, because we, we can only sell five things at a time. So town storage of sunflower oil of 1,600. Let's do 1,000. And deal, sunflower oil, right there, 1,000. And temporary you. So salt, we sold everything but 10 last time. And potatoes, 230. Potatoes would be good to sell. 
So was that an option? No, you were selling us potatoes, so maybe the next trader. Sunflower oil close. We are at the 100 mark still. Okay. Honey, we're at 17. We're still making honey a lot faster than, than, uh, than we use it. So let's do something like 800. And deal. And 800 honey. I'm curious to see if those new places that we just put in, how many of those got bees. So I need to wander over there and take a look. Honey and what? Apples? What's left? 500? We'll be able to handle those. And that is it. Okay. So let's go ahead and sell the other charcoal of another 429 deal. Okay. We're done with them. And we cannot buy the... Uh, tallow from them so we'll have to check the uh, the other traders kind of keep that in mind would be nice to have a much more robust soap supply but that's going to require having a lot of animals and a lot of animal slaughtering okay so i'm looking for this guy i'm waiting for him to pop up in here these are getting so stinking small are you at an end i don't think you are was that you no that's you too and that's those three and that's a row house back over there. And you, ah, you're the one. So you go over there. You are the church. Okay, so you're there. So I could change out the three-story. I want to say that was you. You are, well, maybe not. <clears throat> yeah, you are. Two-story, three-story, two-story. Is the new three-story the same size footprint? That would be really convenient right now. Otherwise, it's not going to be possible. So, rotate you around. You look like you are. Okay, good. So, let's throw you out. <clears throat> there you are. And the new three-story uh, three row house with arcade goes in here now to align that perfectly huh what do I want here I want an R I want a T well that's close I think it's there we'll know if it fits ah it fits now up and down about like there okay so you are in place, and you're toward the end. I can make you... Well, after this one, I would want to get this guy in. You are right there. So this, the church. No, the church. And then this one. Then we'll get this clay pit in there. And then get the warehouse going and the other ashery. And then what are these? Small granaries. Now we'll do that. Okay. I don't think we're going to be over here for a few more episodes. I think I'm going to concentrate on the idea of plowing a road through here. And putting a farm in and maybe just a couple of fields and just see how that goes. Then we would have, or well, maybe three fields. Then we'd have a fallow field available for a cow shed. So that sounds like a, a better, more of a short term plan before we work our way around the around the uh, around the island around the bend um so where are we now we are working on the school so let's speed things back up again and then we're going to tear this school down and hopefully this one gets some kids that one hasn't had a single kid in it since we built it so something wasn't quite right there these have had a lot less kids in them too i mean they were almost maxed out many episodes ago so maybe it could be that we haven't had enough houses recently to have enough young families that might be a thing as folks die out new families move in and that's we're going to start to see that happening so I probably should that's right pause let's go back to this house real quick right here do you still not looking for a job hand is broken and you're sitting Okay, so did you go to the doctor already or did you not? Personal log, does that tell me anything? Broke hand, stopped working at the forestry, got sick. Okay. So after your rest, 
We're on speed two. Or is this a permanent rest? Okay, you are still taking a rest. <clears throat> Going home. Because there are no benches in front of your house. There's a nice bench right there. And you are recovering from a fracture. Okay, so now we don't have a broken hand. Now we're recovering. But still, I didn't see a trip to the uh, barber surgery. I wonder if it's just implied. I wonder if anybody ever walks in this door. Well, someone just did. Now, was that you or somebody else? I think we'll just stare at this for a little while. Okay, red. Okay, you just went in. Your health is there, so you needed it. You work at the primary school, no wonder. <laughs> yep, every every disease out there rolls through those kids. Um, let's see who else is about to walk in and check their health out. See how that works. You going in? Nope. Anybody? Or is this a wild goose chase? Okay, you live there, so you don't count. No. Oh, and you live there. So we'll wait just a little bit longer here and see if we can catch anybody walking in. I'm curious to see what their health looks like when they go in versus when they come back out. I've never taken the time to really notice that. Oh, you did. Good. So you have got a full health bar. And you work in the Forest Street, visiting a barber surgery. No true indication why. Personal log... Started working at the forestry, so it's preventative medicine there. That's what's going on. So, you will let you go in. Taking a rest. Nothing really changed. Okay. So, it's just one of the things that they need to do. Like, they need to visit a tavern, and they need to go to a chapel once in a while, as well as they need to get a drink of water, and they need to do this and that. Okay. I think I'm getting it. But, I do one more chance here. You are not looking for a job still and you're sitting here and still recovering from a fracture now you're heading back in <clears throat> so we're we're watching them this episode trying to figure out how things work you're still recovering from a from a fracture so we have a certain amount of time in real life that's probably about six weeks so i didn't notice when he this doesn't give dates right oh it does uh broke a hand january so all we know is that it's January. Okay. So sometime toward the end of February, he should be working again. All right. So we are still over here. Building materials are all here. We're building it now. Then we'll swing over here, although it'll be March by then, and there'll be less people working. Okay. So what else do we need to be doing? Whatever happened here? We're at 20, and we needed some oxen? I'm trying to think here now. I was watching Skibbeth play today, and I've got his game in my brain, too. He was looking for oxen, not me. Okay. <laughs> Derkachi, you are the ones who were just here, right? You are. All right. And you haven't picked up everything we've already sold you, so I can't sell you anything else. So I don't think there's any reason to even talk to you. Fine. Now, we got people working? We do. Loading these guys up. Uh, loading you up with sunflower oil. And loading you up with honey. It was like 800. Yep. <clears throat> and you bought charcoal. Oh, not very much, though. Are we, we can't be out. We had 10,000 sitting here. Yeah, we got plenty of charcoal. So, you were the end of the charcoal then? No. Why was it 400 and some charcoal? 1,000? I don't know. That was kind of odd. Hmm. Okay. Um, what else? Unless that's... Charcoal... 3,000 of 8,000... Yeah, it was 8,059, so it wasn't like 8,400 and something. So that would have explained it. Okay. Um, what else were we 
doing? We were getting carts into this guy, and they're there now. Great. Um, <clears throat> cart quality, yeah, repair-wise. we got one about to go down. Um, I could just say force repair and make that happen. These are probably, well, they're getting used quite heavily, too. We'll force repair that one as well. And it's sitting here. Okay. You are soap works, not enough workers to support production. So we need two workers. When we're going to have workers, we have to have them in pairs. Okay. But there's no tallow, so they're not really doing anything. That I know of. There was no tallow a while ago. Hey, dryer means some trees went down over here. So right now we are not doing anything. No animals for slaughtering. Okay. Do we want to choose some animals? The only animals that we can replace are the oxen. These are seven years old, or the saltworks oxen. So there's no point in saving bulls for there, but we, it seems like we had a lot of bulls. So we could, yeah, let's eliminate some of these guys. Slaughter one. Two, uh, three, there's a pair, there's, okay, four, that leaves a two-year-old pair. So one two-year-old pair and a one-year-old over here. Okay, and I was told not to use optimized bulls because they will then automatically eliminate bulls as they're born, you know, as they're young, in which case you don't get much in the way of supplies from them. They're, they're, too, uh, they're too little. So, best just to call them yourself. Go through and manually uh, go through the herd. Alright, so that's them. Over here, let's slow down. And is there anything over here that needs to be done? We have a ram of six years, which we have set for protect. We don't need to anymore. So, you, both you rams could go. Slaughter, slaughter, and say two more rams. We still have a three-year-old ram left and a two-year-old ram left. Let's do the three. And one of the two-year-olds. Another two-year-old. Wow, we have a lot of a lot of boys in here. Yeah. When it comes to, uh, to cattle-like animals, it sucks to be a boy. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to clean house there. They don't give us milk. Though they do give us the wool. There is that, but that'll give us room for lots of new uh, baby ones. So we'll get milk and wool from those. All right, so you are going to be busy for a while, which means there's going to be a lot of tallow here in a while. And you are ready for three rounds, and you should be ready for two rounds. You're just finishing up one. Do we... I don't know that we need to have a third round ready for the sheep yet. Probably not. I, I moved it up to 200. I think we're going to be okay there. Do we want to move this up a notch? 200, we're, we're in lots of 100, aren't we? Yeah. So if we make you a 300. Three cattle per. Let's do that. I think that'll work. Okay. So what next? Um... I kind of remember there being a noise. Oh, it was a hay dryer. And another broken leg? Dude. <laughs> it's getting dangerous. I wonder if after a certain population, we start getting injuries. Because I don't remember that many injuries per year at the beginning of the game. Hmm. Okay, so how are we doing over here? We are making charcoal. We're loading up charcoal. It is March. We are sowing this field with wheat. We're plowing this field for flax. And we are plowing this field for wheat. Just waiting for another worker to get to work. Yeah. Okay. Um, over here, we have a lot of people available. Good. We're sowing this one, we are plowing that one, and there goes the other plow team for this one, probably. 
Yeah, we got buckwheat and sunflower. And over here is going to be hemp this time. Okay. So we won't have potatoes this year. Yeah. So Dirkachi left. There's no chance of getting one more load of charcoal in. But these folks are filling up the charcoal over here. Charcoal or firewood is at zero. So we're depending on this one. And we're pretty low here. These guys are chopping a tree. Okay. What if we're getting enough people in town now to to limit to to fire less people for harvest season and sowing season? Although it does another it does have another benefit in that these guys, if they grabbed a job that was a long way from home, and then they get laid off, they have a chance of if say if that person lives over here they've got a chance of then grabbing another job you know over I don't know here when we lay so many of these people off so there's an advantage of doing that in fact there really is let's just do that and then bring them all back in wherever they work well I guess that doesn't really work unless I do that when all the other jobs open up again yeah, probably doesn't help. Okay. I'm just thinking these guys, these two right here, where do they live? But it's not that easy to find. They live there. That's not bad. And this one, find home. You live right over there. Okay, so you guys are probably fine. Do I bring in a third person just to get firewood going? There's 1,400 leaving. I think so. Let's bring in a third person since they do have trees to chop. And there's no logs. Ah, so there's nothing for that third person to do anyway. All right, do that. When they bring this log back, they will then, you know, send it into firewood, and it'll be fine. So you guys are coming in from over here. Do we still have... We still have red X's over here. Not many. But we have these three and these three over here. Okay, so we still have some... Actually, we don't need to do those anymore. Let's cancel these. We're no longer going to be... Uh, did I leave a log on the ground? Probably should have stopped and looked before I did that. So it looks like they're cleaning up the second half or whatever they had just done. This is going away, so there's no point in taking those trees out now. This one's going to be built by the, the four that just rehired that are hopefully close... You know, live close to this place where they work. Okay. We got some blossoms going on. So there is our little uh, well area. Lots of benches there. Benches around here. Apparently no dog rose over here. I think that's what's blooming over there. No, those are all fruit trees. That's right. You are a primary school. Let's hire a teacher and see if we have better luck over here. So slow down all of the trees in the yards that have blooms on them are fruit trees so this one is not I wonder what this would be like an ash or something so that's not a fruit tree you also so white indicates fruit these are all the raspberry bushes so that's what I was wanting to see over here long ago when I said it looked like some of these bushes right in the front of the houses were raspberries but apparently that one is not uh, front of the house these are white, so maybe these are raspberries. They look just like the ones in the back. Oh, that's right. There's a new one. Other thing that's coming out with the update is um, something to do with adding a greater variety of fruits or vegetables in the gardens or on the houses. That is divides up the yards differently now, so that there is a greater variety available, which should then start filling out our. Um, our market stalls more, uh, you know, more fully with more variety coming in. So that's yeah. The game will continue to improve as people write in to, to say you know what they like and don't like and what have you. I threw some arches in here just to make it a little bit easier to see. I guess we need another one about here. That there's a pathway here. The trees have kind of swallowed it. Let's do one more. 
you. And the question is where? And I guess we, if we went just like this right at the end of that building. Yeah, I think that would work. So put you right there. Kind of shows off this this walkway a little better. Then through here, through this one and this walkway, fires off into here and disappears. So the problem with having these guys take out all of the red X's around town is that they have to walk a long way to go get the wood instead of just taking it all out of here. Do we throw in another forestry <laughs> over here again to just for the goal of taking a swath through here? There's a lot of trees that's going to need to be done. Or I guess we could depend on these if I use park benches. Because then it's a building and not a red X. And then these guys will do the buildings. They're, they've only got two real jobs left before we just continue taking out all the trees over here. So that's more of a long-term goal. Yeah, we could park bench, although the one thing I don't like about park benches is that it adds another 40 little boxes up here. We'll never be able to see what that thing is right there. Hmm, but that would get a lot of these eliminated quickly by the team that isn't responsible for getting firewood done as fast as they can so we can get charcoal done as fast as we can. That's the problem right now. We're needing more firewood. One log's on its way in, firewood, well, they got ahead of the firewood again, but before March is over, we could have had these guys all filled up and even emptied one more time. So you, you're here, you are off to go get firewood from somewhere, you're unloading it right now, okay. So you're putting firewood in, you're dropping off the cart, so you could use a cart closer, you really could. There's no room to put it here. This is full. That's full. I mean, that's not too far away, but these ladies are using it quite a bit. So we got the carts over here because these guys are going to use it a lot. Got the carts over here for these folks, but then we're also storing building supplies here now, which means the builders are going to walk over and grab carts and take them over to load up the 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 building sites so we could still use one more round of carts back here I'm still kind of debating that one warehouse it's like it sticks out too far or this one just needed to have been further forward probably more likely what it is okay although we do start to dip down here like the pathway should be up a little bit. Before I stick a cart shed up against this, is this staying is what I'm working through right now. Maybe this is what this one is. Then this goes away and a cart shed goes right up alongside this. I kind of like that. I don't want it here because we're right in front of a row house. kind of want to separate this a little bit. But I don't know how to do that specifically. I guess if the pathway went over and joined the main road here and not came up behind this, maybe fenced off so it comes over here, then turns and goes in. In which case, we could put trees in this area and kind of hide this from this area. Hmm. Okay. Sometimes I don't realize when I drop it down to speed one that. I need to bring it back up. You guys are sewing. This one is almost finished. This one is working. How are we over here? Workers, we've got quite a few. We're getting a lot more laborers in this place than we were before. So we're doing good. You're done. You're done. And we're just starting you. So they're almost even. You are families out of firewood. But that's fine. You will head to the market and get it. Firewood is right there. There's a hundred of it available. You probably grab all 100, right? I would expect that you're going to be walking over here real soon. Is that you? Yeah, firewood, not you. Okay, try it again. Now who's coming to get the firewood? I guess we're waiting for someone to get done with their, their current job. Just looking at the 
Windmill. Splines. Here we go. You're mm, faking me out again. Yeah. You're going home to then get told by the missus, go you go get that firewood right now. And here he comes. <laughs> no, he went and sat down. <laughs> okay, so did we make empty? There it is. Now we got to the other one. And you are already make empty. Yep. And you are definitely... Oh, you're a building site. We're starting to build the church. Cool. All right, so have we torn this one down? Uh, right in here, we are tearing it down. But you guys are... Well, you're going to a construction site. But you're kind of over here at this construction site, aren't you? Who is dropping off goods over here? Who are you? No, you're not. Yeah, you? Okay, so are you a builder? You're a cart shed. Ah, oh, okay, good. You guys are doing what you're supposed to be doing. You guys are tearing it down. Perfect. Okay. So how many logs are over here now? 619 logs? Wow. Yeah, you're not going to get them to take down any red X's. All right, over here we're struggling to maintain a log. And unfortunately, I can't... Now, I can't move resources by wagon. Do wagons move logs? Carts don't. So, boy, I would love to move 300 logs to over here. That would solve everything. So, is it time to build a cart... A wagon shed? Boy, if we did. I'll leave it on speed one. I'm going to think about this a minute. Hmm. Um, what I know about them. Well, let's see if we can find out. Wagon. Shed. Okay. Oh, a lot of words. All right. Haul large amounts of resources efficiently. So I know we can get a thousand wood planks on a cart. So what does large amount mean? Ten thousand? New wagon shed is built. Um... Local carpenter build them, yeah. So wagon shed workers perform deliveries of three types. Uh, supply for current construction, perform by wagon versus by cart, and move resources by wagon. So it's the same thing as the cart shed. You can specify minimum wagon fullness, yeah. Wagon shed workers will also supply food and water for the draft horses, okay. Draft horse has its shoes or tack wear out. The workers will replace them. Wagon repairs are performed by the carpentry workers. Okay. So, I don't get the sense it's any different from this. Except maybe larger quantities. Barbinkave. You. Demand. Potatoes, flour, cheese. Yep, nothing that we have to sell. Okay. Buy from you, lime... Um, booze? How are we doing on booze? Uh, where are you? H, right there, 1900. And mead was the other one? Mead is getting low, so we do need to buy mead. <coughs> okay. Um, hmm. So the wagon shed is no different from the cart shed, except it uses horses and it hauls larger amounts. Except for moving charcoal around, I haven't seen that we actually need any larger amounts. So, I guess the one thing that would make me want to build it right now, and those of you who know, let me know, can we move logs with a wagon? So, those of you who have got a map and have a wagon shed built, click on this for me, just like the carts, and see if logs are in that list. If they're not, then I don't see any point in building it just yet. The cart sheds are still doing all that we need. Now, what is with your firewood? Or is that a second firewood? I think it was this one. Firewood 13. No, it wasn't you. So, are you finally buying the firewood? We don't have any firewood. Ah, you aren't at work. That's why. So, you need to... Get to work so that you can go and pick up firewood out of the... Is it over here? Out of... No, it's not over here. 
and we are waiting 600 so she is off way over there getting firewood let's up you one and let's up you one start bringing these supplies over in larger batches okay so we could manually move a hundred firewood into here just to get that going but she's she's got it taken care of so once that happens she is oh she's going all the way over there to get it <laughs> it'll be a while okay well it's april it's the nights aren't too cold right now so farming is done we're back to april everyone's been rehired you guys are full you've torn down a school there you're tearing down a school okay so school is going away child is born back to 279 population that school was half buried into the ground over there interesting wow that floor came up quick all that hardwood flooring yep so grab the foundation out of there and this will be done then we're moving on to the church and i was given the cart shed workers a chance to get building materials over here and they've got quite a bit of it <clears throat> boy there's a lot of wood needed okay so you guys are making you got 14,000 wood over here so we've got that taken care of you're having trouble over here even though we just had a really good uh, oh you are the barber surgery and we're taking all of your money because you are not getting as much money as the other one is no, we're not. We're... Well, okay. Well, I guess we are. Think about that. We're not doing it by wealth tax. We're doing it by just straight out taking 20 from you. So we can't afford to do that to the new one. Uh, let's do this differently. Zero. Hold the shift down. So 10 is all we're going to get out of you. So we're going to need to pull more out wealth tax-wise instead. So... 10... They were paying the five already, the bar the barber surgery over here. So to get the same amount, I have to take this to 15. What should be fine? That still leaves every household with at least 100. So let's take you to 20. Anybody over 100 pays 20. Okay, I'll do that. Tavern tax is still low. We can go check that out now that they've uh, moderated a little bit but barber surgery take you down to 10 a month instead of 20 and see if you can handle that um tavern how are you guys doing now you're at 40 okay i think we'll just leave you alone you eventually get to 100 and we'll start clipping it off through the wealth tax okay so over here this barber surgery seven you got things to buy and yeah, i got a lot of things to buy yeah, you're kind of low on all supplies. But, and there's not a lot of people living out here to use you. So it's going to be a while before you're going to be prosperous. Hmm, previous month's income was zero, but you're pretty new. Okay, we'll see how that goes. I get just a couple of customers. And most of these people will be working in industry anyway. Demolition completed for the primary school. Okay, starting to build. No, we did build. Any kids? Not a kid. Okay. Well, we'll see. That might just be decoration. Uh, you, well, you've, you're up to seven now. What is that? Eight? Eight. And you have added another one too. So, yeah. Okay. It'll, it'll happen. I want to watch. I don't know if these houses will be affected by the new rules of, of Alpha 5.5. Or if it's houses that are built from now on, as far as a different variety of, of crops. I would imagine we're sticking to the original crops because some of these things are annuals. Or perennials? Perennials. So if they can't be moved, then the other ones probably won't move either. Okay. So there'll be other houses that will affect this. You are being built. We're going to start bringing supplies over here. Okay. I am, whoa, 55 minutes already. Okay. And now you're having firewood issues. So I guess we burnt through a lot of firewood over the winter. 
and you are going to work. So do we have laborers on? We don't. Let's add laborers by both here for the firewood. And is that a problem over here? Firewood, this one? No. No, I got rid of the firewood to put tallow in there because you guys could just walk over here and get it. I'm pretty sure they can buy from the forestry. I hope I'm right there. Otherwise, I guess everybody would be screaming about firewood over here. So I must be right. Um, yeah, there are enough products to fill nine of these. Firewood, you know, once you get soap, once you get uh, glassware, once you get uh, pottery. There's, there's a few other pieces that have not been added to these yet. Uh, don't We don't have... We do have sallow, yeah. Uh, was there another pork product? Pork sallow and something? I don't remember. So we could have nine market stalls comfortably filled at some point in each of these markets. Which I think there needs to be one more of these markets over here. I think I'm going to do a full market instead of, you know, doing this kind of a thing over there. I like the look of the market. All right, you now have a household income of 1900 Yeah. <laughs> but I don't need to get greedy. We, we're growing. We're now in the 8000s for our treasury. So we should just be happy for them. Okay, you are in the 40s. And you are still holding. So you've, you've, uh, previous month's income was 20. So we must have just rolled over. You made 20. And before you had 20 taken away. Now you've only had 10 taken away. So you're, you're okay. Um, hay dryer is complete. So there's only one hay dryer left as far as taking trees down. That's right in here. Is there a circle in there? Right there. Okay. That's in there. You are just waiting. You are down... Are you already back up to 18 even though I've taken those out? How did that ever work? So we've got one batch going. I assume we've just finished a batch. You are working on... Are there any more to take out? I'm assuming that we're done, but am I wrong? Yeah, they're... All the heads slaughter marked are, are gone. Okay, so we just have mostly cows left over there. Over here... Um, sheep hides are waiting. Okay. Over here, we still have several marked for slaughter. So it's just a matter of going to get them and getting the work done. Okay, so we did the cows first. Now we're doing the sheep. That must be what's going on. Okay, 28 of 30. And as these go down... They're making new ones pretty quickly. There's one, two, three, you know, that move, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I guess we'll say six a year right in there. It's about what we're making. So that should be fine. You are hired. Someone else took the job and you're running. You're running. We had a shearing. We've got 1700 wool available. Okay, making broadcloth, uh, storing broadcloth, uh, making here. So storing 300, your capacity is 5,000. So we'll never worry about running out of storage space there. Okay. Now the was brought to my attention that these guys, yeah, we need to keep an eye on this. They max out quite quickly. I've taken it down to one worker again. Um. Yeah, let's move you by cart there to this one. So if I just do that a couple times a year, we ought to be okay. Eventually, as we get more people in town, as we fill in this void right here, that's probably what we want. Mm, nah, yeah, that's probably what we want the, the foresters to be working on next, rather than a thousand park benches out here. <laughs> So let's do a couple of them just to get the sense of a pathway going. There, 
they're taking out the trees over here right now for this last hay dryer. But let's, yeah, let's just carve through a little bit of a path there. It's kind of fun doing this. I use park benches because I can find them again. So we moved two things. Oh, the two fences. That's right. So, yeah, park benches are easier to find afterward to go back and clear them out. So you, and there's only one tree in there, so you. So there's three trees there. And you, yeah, we'll do you. Four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Constructed bench. Wait, what? I don't know. Who are you? You are Bevin How did those benches construct? I don't understand what just happened. They're they're still under these trees. What were those messages? Bench where? Is there a bench hiding in there that I missed? Boy, if there is, I can't see it. I guess I'll find it someday. Oh, it's right there. Okay. Maybe I missed the tree. Maybe I did. Take you away. And you. Hmm. I don't know what happened there. Anyway, um, one more trader and we'll call this episode done. You... Actually, that's a river trader, right? Yeah. So, you guys sell Harelka, but you don't sell mead. And nobody seems to sell beer. I don't see tallow as a possibility here. You want to buy sheep hides? No. So nothing here to sell to you. And nothing we really want to buy from you. No, I think we are fine. Though I could bring in a thousand more of this just in case we don't see mead for a long time. So let's deal on that one. Okay. Uh, church, how are you doing? We're getting there. Yeah, we could go long. Where am I? Just a little over an hour. Let's go another five or ten minutes and get this one built. I think that'd be fun to see. Um, I kind of want to put the fences in, but and then I kind of don't. Let's wait till it builds. And maybe I'll spend some time after the episode's over and... Just kind of figure out where all these points are. It could be 10 minutes trying to get this perfect and delete it all and do it again and again. Delete all this and make it all match and all that. So, yep. Yeah, it takes a while, but that is quite the grand room there. Circle window up there. Ah. Two circles and an oval on top. Or arch. Scaffolding going around. Quite the building. Look at the, the pathway. So go up a ramp, go over, up another ramp, go over. Wow. A lot of thought went into the model here. Really did. There's the main spine through there. Big square roof on top. Boom, boom, boom. And the steeple. Roof down here. Uh, this is wood, not thatch. So I would expect more of these pieces for wood, for shingles. Unless they're really long shingles. Could be. Can't remember what the roof looks like now. Is this similar? Yeah, these are little shingles. So are these. Interesting. And we got a roof in there. Okay. No roof in here, though. No ceiling. Boom. Is there a bell up in there? There is, with a rope. <laughs> Alright, so we're building what now? I don't know. Something internal, I guess. I don't see any changes on the outside. There's stairs. Um, I don't remember a porch going around. I think that's just scaffolding still. I'm not sure. I guess we'll wait and see what that part is. Anything in the back? Did 
Just putting up more scaffolding, it looks like. We're inside adding things. There's nothing else going on on the roof. So what are they doing in there? Oh, I bet you were building the, uh, like the altar or something in the inside? No, it's just a plain wall back there. I'm trying to peek in all the windows. Yeah, not much you can see on that side. So they're just running boards in. Boy, I cannot tell what they're building. There's, well, we're almost done. Building a lot of things on the outside. Must just be the design of the, of the walls that's going in. Oh, come on. Now they all take a break. <laughs> okay, I see. So we have another layer of, of uh, shingles that goes in at this point. It's more like an awning. There we go. A deck and an awning around the outside. And we have a church. Do we hire for a church? Nope. We wait for someone to move in. Okay. Now, any rules? Just you can't go beyond 300. Priest will... And his family will move in as soon as the construction is complete. Okay. So I would imagine as soon as somebody is qualified to do it. So we come up through through the main road here. Turn the corner and have to make a decision. Church or tavern? <laughs> anyway, so I'll fence. Where's our archway over there? That's our, oh, it's right here. Hard to see it. I'll fence from that corner on down through here shaping the road turn a corner here leave a nice opening here and do I open here too I think not they'll all just cut the corner all the time so around over here then come back over and kind of grab this fence and bring it over and match it and and then see about landscaping the inside but that is the the big church in the game right now I would imagine later there's gonna be more of a of a stone cathedral I could see that coming as a, uh, as a final version of the church as the game continues to grow. Otherwise, I think we're going to call this one done here. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye now.